Hello and welcome to Map to Love. These are going to be important messages and blessings for you right now. There are three piles in front of you. Um, I had fun using the charms. I haven't used them in a while in the reading that I posted yesterday, so I thought I'd bring them into this reading. So pile number one, I'd say the stones that stand out if you're gonna pick just one pile, you can certainly listen to more than one, but it has a frog and it has a purple stone and a clear quartz stone. The second pile will say what stands out to me is it has this like uh, your ancestors are with you, ancient lands and this uh, clear quartz stone. The third pile has a rose quartz stone and a starfish, but that's what's standing out to me. If you need more time to pick a pile, please hit the pause button. And we're gonna get started here. Carefully move these over. Okay, so if you pick this first pile, we're gonna get the, we're gonna put the charms like right here so we can talk about this. Okay, what stands out to me if you pick pile number one is this frog prosperity, um, abundance, a need to detox something in your life, detox your mental body, your emotional body, your physical body, some kind of detox and prosperity coming in here with this frog. We have this block here and what I feel with this block is something has been blocking you, something has been frozen in time and now you're able to see, see how you can kind of see through it. You're like seeing that things are being cleared away. So I feel like things are being cleared away, blocks, anything restricting is being cleared away and you're able to, to kind of see the way through. I'm just gonna kind of put these over here. This charm right here is up north. So something about north following the North Star and it's Minicola in Wisconsin. And it says Paul Bunyan, so Paul might be um, a word, I don't know if Bunyan's is, uh, Cook Shanty, Wisconsin's favorite restaurant. So maybe something about a restaurant or you like uh, up north, Wisconsin always makes me feel like cheese, like, and following the North Star, something about the north, and there's a duck right here. I'm just giving you all the symbols and the things in it because this is a general reading and something may resonate with someone. I don't want to leave anything out because these are all signs and synchronicities to look out for is what spirit is saying. If you see a frog, you know, if you see an owl or you read about an owl, but owl speaks of wisdom. So there's divine wisdom coming in for you in your life right now. You're very wise. You've learned a lot and spirit is saying it's time to take all those lessons, turn it into knowledge and then move forward with the wisdom. You have a lot of angelic guidance and support here. This one says, angels watching over me. So the angels are always watching over me. Always watching over me. So you have a lot of angelic presence watching over you and loved ones. Because here's another angel as well. So that's beautiful. A shell, like I have the scene here, uh, may mean something to you. You like the beach. You like the ocean. You collect shells. Um, water can help bring peace, can help balance you. Oh, look at that. I love you. Spirit loves you. Your twin flame, your soulmate with this infinity sign loves you. I love you. You have a lot of love, a lot of love and protection surrounding you. Music, you may like music. Spirit can, is speaking to you through music, through song. So when you ask a question and you just happen to hear a song or you're listening to the radio and asking for guidance, pay attention to that. Perhaps you, you uh, write music, you play music of some kind, but if this is, this is a confirmation for you. And I can, you can. I can do anything I set my heart and mind to. I can accomplish my goals. I can overcome this obstacle, this block this codependency. I can break free. I can. So spirit really wants you to, to, to say that affirmation and believe in yourself. You are always in my heart. 
So someone's thinking of you, either someone that's crossed over, you're always in my heart, or this is your lover saying, I love you, you're always in my heart, remember that. You're always in my heart. This is third eye and crown chakra activation to higher levels. Really pay attention to your dreams, your even your daydreams, your meditations. Um, and with that infinity sign on I love you and infinite intelligence being represented there, like you have a really powerful connection to source to the universe to all that is to god trust your intuition perhaps sitting and doing a meditation focusing on your crown and third eye chakra will really help you right now to open that up there's some kind of communication coming in it's like i feel like happy joyful communication with this little looks like a little birdie heart so a lot of love, a lot of love surrounds you. Open your heart, shine that light. Turtle, okay, so you might like turtles. Uh, you can feel free to look up online the spiritual meanings of any of these um, things if, they're, if you're guided to, but turtle is kind of like slow and steady, you know, kind of wins the race. So you're getting there. You're on the right path. Spirit's guiding you. This ring, I don't know. I, wow, that's interesting because I know it's a charm. But what they're showing me is someone is coming and bringing you a ring, a, a higher level of commitment. Wow. Okay. Let me know about that. And the last little charm here is love and be loved. So spirit really wants you to focus on the love, loving yourself, filling your own cup, enjoying the love that surrounds you and shining that light and love. See with this heart. Yeah. When you love yourself, you attract love in. Okay. We're going to get your messages of the cards now. Alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns into gold. So these ideas that are coming to you that you're that you're working on to push forward, great ideas. You have the Midas touch. By focusing on happiness and joy and love, it's like you're just attracting everything you want to you. Golden opportunities. rest you've been working hard take a nap and get some rest so perhaps you've really been working on something a project uh you know your job your your home your family whatever this is it's time for you to take a little rest yourself so that you can recharge because it's really important when you're i feel that you're this this frog is saying rest detoxify because there's prosperous and abundant times coming for you everything is turning into gold it's kind of like everything is working out for you and that can mean busy wonderful times but busy times and I feel like you've been busy and it's time to take a rest and go within I don't know if you can hear the sirens but to me the sirens are Archangel Michael saying yes listen to this you need to rest so you can revitalize yourself so you can um, be in full alignment and have full power to really move forward on what's being worked out right now these projects you know turning it into gold maybe you're investing in gold a golden opportunity so you need to make sure that you've had proper rest so that you can really move forward here so um it's important and then also with the crown and the third eye stones being on this pile that's you know when you're going to get some of these activations and this clarity is when you go within and you take a rest you're moving towards more restful times too, I'm hearing. Cat, be relaxed and independent. Archangel Raphael, healing of the heart space. Healing, there's so much healing coming when you take a rest and you relax, right? And it's sort of like being independent. Uh, you're working with spirit, but, it, but, but by yourself, you know what I mean? Really focusing on what you want. Your intuitive and psychic gifts are really strong right now with this cat energy. There's healing coming to your heart space. It's beautiful. So it may be more of an independent time for you right now, being in your own energy, which is good. It's necessary right now. Patience. Yeah, look at that. It's all about the cycles and it's like seven, uh, you know, of pentacle energy. So pausing, reflecting resting see it's that's what spirit saying right now it's okay to rest allow yourself to rest because you're about to give birth 
You may actually be giving birth. You're about to birth this creative project and you're going to need energy. <laughs> so rest right now. Nurture yourself right now. Take care of your physical body right now. That's what spirit is saying. Really, really nurture yourself, okay? Turning in. Look at that. Wow. This is a big confirmation if you pick this pile. Look at all these weird faces around. I don't know if you can see that, but look at all those crazy faces. I feel like this is you tuning out the world, tuning out the fears, the aggressive energies around you, going within and finding your peace. There's peace coming. There's rest coming. And it's the same energy, okay? The Four of Swords energy, the same energy. Meditation, rest, healing, going within to find your answers, not around you. See? And it's trusting, trusting, see? Closing your eyes and knowing. And this is moving on. This is dropping. Oh, wait, this is cups energy. So turning within and going for that ace of cups, excuse me, but it's still the same energy, like resting, going within, right? And this waves, water, connect to your emotions, right? While things are being worked out. Because this is the six of swords. So the gray is the swords. Um, this is moving on, dropping the burden. Things that have been a burden in your life, moving away from that. That's what I feel like with all these kind of weird faces. They're almost like energy vampires and, and a lot of control and a lot of aggression and anger and resentment all here but it's like leaving that behind finally taking this this opportunity to rest a little bit focus on filling your own cup here with the ace of cups you know being offered with the four turning in and that's going to help you get out of your head and drop these burdens and and seeing a way forward right early bird gets the worm so trust that you will reach your goal that you will be dropping these burdens that you can you will be moving forward it's just a time to rest right now to get ready for this but there's a new path opening here to draw things have been burdensome and i can feel that so it's like spirit saying listen we're helping you out we are Focus on the love. Let go of what's not serving you. You're being protected right now. And there is a way forward. We're going to show you the way. But you got to go within to find the way. And then here's the Hierophant. So commit to your spiritual growth. Commit to yourself. To loving yourself. To nurturing yourself. To living your life with integrity. That's why you're being blessed. Being independent to think how you want to think and feel how you want to feel higher level of commitment see this is what i felt see higher level of commitment coming in someone's delivering a ring or some kind of offer opportunity judgment yeah decisions it's judgment day all of these people these toxic energies these lower vibration fear-based energies here it's judgment day so they will be dealt their karma, their lessons. Okay, karma's just lessons. You, I feel, have been learning your lessons and moving through the cycles and trusting in divine timing and being patient, doing what you can, staying, you know, staying focused on happiness and joy, you know, trusting, relaxing, getting all this clarity. So you, the spirit is saying, are going to be blessed. Decide what you want and move forward and I feel like spirit is saying move forward towards your spiritual path towards higher level of commitment that's the new cycle and four swords again this rest energy do you see this it's like the whole thing is like rest it's okay be in your own energy allow yourself to heal trust see the sword that trust what you know trust trust and go within and make, see, it's pointing you towards this commitment, uh, towards this new cycle to out of the old energy. You're being guided heavily right now. Akhilanda, the goddess of never not broken, is with you. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. Okay, let me, let me see that. Be relaxed and independent. 
Everything happens for my liberation. You're being liberated. Set yourself for free. I choose to become only more love. I choose the love. I choose the light. You're not broken. There's no mistakes. There's no bad. There's no wrong. It's just chosen experiences. And you're learning that and you're growing and you're, you are the light. And you are free. And your last message for this first pile is Mary miracles. Mother Mary is with you, helping you learn the lessons and bringing miracles in. I'm telling you, miracles in love, miracles in health, miracles in finances. I mean, there's miracles coming to you. And we're just going to read a little bit in the book for Mary, I hope. What number is it? 34. There we go. Alignment message. Have you stopped believing in miracles? Do you think they are only for others or doubted their existence? Could it be that you've been reading and watching the news too often and so finding yourself feeling powerless and despondent? Or has the dry spell of your life gone on so long that you even stopped looking for water? Have no fear for Mary has a message for you. This is all about your mindset. This moment is an opportunity to turn things around and it begins with your thinking. What if you remembered that your repeated thoughts, feelings, and belief call the world into form? What if you recommitted to your creative partnership with the divine and from there chose another way to experience your life? You have the power of Mary, the mother of miracles, running through your veins. She did not need the seed of a man from outside to give birth to a miracle. In the same way, you do not need your outer world to change first. You don't need someone to rescue you, love you, or take you away. You are the one you have been waiting for. You need only to choose how you will respond to your current reality and focus on a day on what, on a day at a time in service to the miracle of life. What is for you has its own divine timetable. Your alignment task is to remember that. Take your power back. Believe in miracles. You have the Midas touch right now. Make the decision to move forward towards your destiny, towards who you love, towards what you love. Choose yourself. Be independent and free. I hope that you enjoyed those. I'm going to clean up this pile real fast and move to the second pile. I appreciate you all so much. Reach out to me anytime. Okay, let's move that over there. All right, we're going to slide pile number two. If you picked pile number two, we're just going to kind of go over the charms here. This is your crown chakra. Your connection to source is very strong right now. Trust that. Believe in that. Work to open this. There's different meditations on YouTube in various places to really connect with source because you're getting there's a lot of clarity coming in here. This one I believe is San Diego Sea World. So and there's flamingos on there. So with the charms, it's signs and synchronicities. Uh, places, California, Sea World, uh, flamingos. If you want to look up the spiritual meaning, these are all symbols that spirits working. So if you see a flamingo, if you read about Sea World, if something about San Diego or California pops up, that's your sign. So that's what these charms are for. So take them as they resonate. This one is Nevada State, Las Vegas, and it has Nevada State tree. Bristle cone, I should know this because I grew up there. Bristle cone pine. <laughs> so something about trees, something about the desert, Nevada. So California, Nevada are coming up here. It could mean something to you. This is your ancestors coming through and saying ancient wisdom and knowledge is being unlocked. Perhaps looking into your ancestral line, uh, ancient lands that stand out to you are going to give you some clarity here. Okay. There may be some travel in your future and you're, you're guided to go to these different places because there's something there for you, something to be unlocked, okay? So pay attention to that. Spirit's guiding you there. And never, never give up. Don't give up. Spirit's saying don't give up right before things happen. Don't give up. This is this bike makes me feel like it's important for you to get exercise, get outside, ride a bike, take a walk. But also this is like forward movement. So you're moving forward, traveling, 
some kind of forward movement here with that bike. This bone, like you may have a dog, you may love dogs, but to me, this is nourishment, nourishing your body with calcium. You know, weight training of some kind is good for your bones. Uh, you know, if you can drink milk, drinking more milk or, or some kind of calcium, but I, I really feel that bone broth. Uh, I'm just going to say what's coming to me and you take what resonates. And, and this to me is like, uh, like letting something go the death of something, something that's not good, something that's toxic. So something needs to be let go of, or you recently let go of someone or something. It could be a mindset, could be a codependency, an addiction, a person, a friend, a family member, whatever this is, it's like, you know, it's not good. So spirit's just kind of giving you that warning. Make sure you pay attention to the way you feel, because if it doesn't feel good, it's not good for you. This is the wheel. So the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny is moving forward. It's a new cycle for you. Things are moving forward with that bike. And this is this is luck. This is fortune. This is something good is coming. Some kind of good change is coming and commitments coming in. So this can be you committing to your spiritual path, committing to your religious path, um, higher level of commitment as far as a partner coming in. Like, like high priest, high priestess energy, leveling up, ascending. You will be blessed by staying committed. This to me, you know, you know, maybe Paris, the Eiffel Tower, if that means something to you, but this is like the tower moment, the clarity, the epiphanies, the bright ideas coming in from the universe to help clear away this, you know, what's not serving you. See all this clarity coming in. The tower can be a very positive thing, like a positive, I feel a positive shift is coming for you. And the elephant is very wise and never forgets and takes the wisdom forward. And your and spirit's encouraging you to do things by the book. Stay in alignment. Live in integrity one step at a time. You will be blessed. And you're very wise. So know that about yourself. You've learned a lot. This is like a fly, I think. I mean, I don't think it's a bee. It could be a bee. But um, what I feel from this is like... Um, the sweetness of life, uh, a fly on the wall. I feel like some of the gifts being unlocked for you is um, Claire audience and like being able to project yourself other places and hear in like listen to other people's conversations or something like that. Or someone's listening to you, be be aware of that, that somebody may be eavesdropping on you. Like you don't think they're listening, but they are. So I, there's a message in there somewhere. Take that as that resonates. No matter where, no matter what, I'm with you. No matter where you are, I'm with you. Spirit saying, we're with you. No matter where, never, never give up. No matter where you're at in life, never, never give up. Live, laugh, and love. Yeah, live your life. Allow yourself to be happy. Set yourself free. Focus on love. Laugh. Do something you love that's silly. Go to the park. Swing on the swings. Watch a funny movie. But this is what's coming. Live your life. Laugh and love hard. To me, the scissors is you could, this is like cutting away what's not serving you, coming out of a stalemate, right? Opening up, coming out of a stalemate. Stalemate, somebody may be um, a hairstylist or, or likes doing hair. Uh, this could be a confirmation for you if you're thinking about going to school or if that's the business that you're opening or in, that it's going to be successful. And this, the, but to me, for everyone, cutting away what's not serving you, cutting off the dead ends. There's a key here. So I feel like this key because it has kind of a heart shaped in here. And it's like, I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe some of you do, but to me, three, like two coming together to be one collaboration. And I feel like it's, it's love, something you'll love. You're unlocking something in your life that you've, that you've, that you've been working on, that you've been wanting. Maybe it's that higher level of commitment there. And with the dolphins, yeah, this is this is having fun, setting yourself free, playing again, being lighthearted, um, emotional intelligence, just really being focused, moving forward. I know dolphins to me are happiness and joy coming into your life. And this angel wing, you're protected. If you see feathers, um, I feel like you're an earth angel. 
Like people have told you that, like you're an earth angel. You're here to help people on the earth to raise the vibration and the angels are helping guide you. Here is a Pegasus. So you're taking flight on something. You're, you're moving into freedom. You're like taking that leap of faith. There's magic and enchanting times coming to you. This tree is like growth, uh, good health, uh, financial growth, and maybe somewhere um, where it's, you know, you have pine trees and it's maybe winterish. And this seashell, like I have here, is, you know, you, it, being near the water helps heal you, helps soothe you. You may like the ocean, collecting shells. Maybe this is the, va the vacation you're going to go on, you know, but finding peace by water. And then look at this, the sun. The sun is shining in on your life. Happiness, joy, prosperity, clarity, good health, right? And it says made with a smile. So the sun is shining down and smiling on you. The universe is smiling. They're proud, happy. Okay, let's get your cards and the messages for you right now. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Yeah, that fo live, laugh, and love, right? Focusing on the love. Watch your thoughts. Thoughts are creating your reality. Your inner world creates your outer world. So with that mirror, it's like reflecting. Mm. Paying attention. Seeing clearly. I feel like finding peace. It looks very peaceful, you know? Realizing that you have the power to overcome these things, that you have the power. And accepting heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Yeah, there's new life coming, clarity, purification, just all this beauty and grace coming to you, so allow yourself to receive it. God, the universe is listening. Your angels are listening. But sometimes we have to get out of the way. And part of the part of how most people get in the way is their head. Because that's the place where the negative thoughts live, where the devil, quote unquote, devil energy lives, is in your head. That's the only place it can live. It's not in your heart. So accept heaven's help. Know that your prayers are being answered. But allow the help to come in. Allow the clarity to come in. See, with the sun shining in, this is happiness and joy. And that's what heaven, you know, heaven is saying, listen, we're trying to bring heaven on earth here to you. Will you please let us do that? <laughs> Just say yes. Oh, and look at an elephant comes through as a spirit guide and open yourself to true. Oh my God. See, open yourself to true abundance. Archangels Mary and Raphael. And what's really interesting is Raphael came out in pile number one and Mother Mary. So if you felt guided to listen to another pile, number one might might be for you. And I believe an elephant came out in the charm. So there's some connection there. But true abundance is love. Do you know what true, true abundance is? Is love of all kinds, unconditional love, sharing your love, your wisdom, your light, uh, money coming in, good health, just, you know, nurturing your inner child loving your children if you have children just new life sprouting new life look at this open heart like oh it's so beautiful healing is coming your way accept heaven's help accept this abundance accept this healing accept this love that's gorgeous energy so much love surrounding you and within you focus on the love and letting go Spirit's helping you let go of those thoughts, let go of that, of what happened in the past, let go of things that aren't serving you. That's the eight of cups, letting go, letting go of the emotions, taking the wisdom forward because elephants are wise, doing things by the book one step at a time, but letting go and moving on, healing, opening your heart. And oh my gosh, wow. Look at this. Healing and opening your heart and look at the card that comes next. Come on. Yes, and look at this is what Spirit's saying. Clear your mental body. Clear out those negative thoughts. They're not true. The truth is love. Ground yourself in your physical body. I feel like 
um, if you've had issues with your intestines, your gut health, your 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 you know any part of your abdominal area that that's being healed right now, as well as headaches and migraines and peace, you're gonna find peace when you ground yourself into your physical body. Let go of unwanted thoughts. Accept this healing. Accept this help. Let go of the past and open your heart. You're being healed and restored right now. And look at that. Holy abundance. Living the good life. Happiness, joy. Look at the rainbow. Blessings, healing, the sun and the moon, balance, masculine and feminine coming together, massive amounts of abundance. I mean, and it already says up here, open yourself to abundance, accept heaven's help, okay? Sometimes heaven's help is a person that helps you somehow, that gives to you, allow this person to help you. It's If people come into your life to help you, it's their contract to help you. You need to allow them to fulfill that contract. It's part of the deal. It's part of manifestation. Sometimes it comes in the form of a person or an opportunity. But there is so much love and abundance coming your way and blessings and prosperity. Allow it to come in. Let go of what's not serving you. And the sun is shining in, I'm telling you, on your life. Live in the energy of abundance. That's how you'll set yourself free. Look at that, magician, manifestation. Look at all this green healing energy. Infinite intelligence working with you. This is manifestation of this abundance. This is what's happening. This is what you're calling in by letting go is abundance. You are the magician. Things are being revealed to you when you allow yourself to receive this help, this opportunity, this love, this money. But you're manifesting it, whatever you've been focused on, and see the green energy focus on the love. Eight of Wands, and here it is communication, travel, forward movement. Look at those little wish weeds, you know, or wish flowers, we'll call them, but wishes coming true. Movement forward. You are moving forward. You are healing, being restored, able to travel again. Stepping into your power with the eight and the magician. Like you're a very powerful, extremely powerful manifester. So there's forward movement here and travel and communication. And the nine of cups, wow. Look at those fish, prosperity, abundance, wishes coming true, dreams coming true. You see how the arms are back and the heart is right on this cup? That's how you're manifesting is through love, communicating with love, sharing your love. I mean, this is personal wish fulfillment. I mean, wow. Believe in it. Believe in the magic. So there's forward movement in your life on healing, being restored, letting go, this abundance coming in and wishes coming true. And Freya is with you, the goddess of discernment. I spend my time wisely. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. Okay? This is opening your heart. This is watching your thoughts. Being discerning of what, who and what you're letting into your life. Taking charge. Stepping into your power. Shining that light. Setting healthy boundaries. And opening up to this love and abundance. It's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Letting go of what's not serving you and allowing this abundance and beauty and healing to come in. And your final message here, if you pick this pile, is Persephone. Inexperience. 43, learning the lessons. So you're gaining experience. All of these things that you've been through is part of your growth. It's part of learning the lessons and becoming more wise. You may be getting an opportunity or an offer that you, you don't have much experience in. But what Spirit is saying is you have everything it takes to make this work. But we're going to read a little from the book to get the message. But that's a really pretty card. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of spiritual growth. You see all the flowers coming out of the head space. So there's a lot of spiritual growth here. Alignment message. 
the goddess Persephone was forced to pay a high price as restitution for what she thought were innocent actions. Today, she is a wiser goddess and is encouraging you to stop what you are doing and pay attention to the red flags. Don't take a bite of the forbidden fruit unless you are willing to pay the price. The alignment task offered to you by Persephone is simple. If you feel unsure in any way about what is being offered to you, step back and ask, do I have enough knowledge and strength to explore this without attachment to what lies ahead? If yes, jump in. If no, consider the wisdom of waiting for this or something better now manifests for you in divine timing. Don't fall for seduction. It won't be worth the price. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so what I'm getting from that is old ways, old habits, that quote unquote devil energy, addictions, anything or anyone that you know is not good for you. I feel that you maybe were inexperienced before as we are, as we're growing up, right? But now you know better. Now you can be more discerning, taking charge of your thoughts, thinking abundant, prosperous thoughts is going to bring that abundance to you. Allowing yourself to see the truth about what's going on within you and the people around you and the energies around you. Focusing on abundance, focusing on positivity and setting those healthy boundaries, right? Because now you have more experience. You're allowing yourself to receive, you're growing, you're realizing that it's about me because this is my life and I'm not going to allow anything or anyone to take me away from that. So you get the goddess of discernment and then this Persephone message to say, you know, can I do this without attachment? Then yes, jump in if that's where you're at. If you feel any doubt, um, just take your time. Be discerning. Only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to clean up this pile. And if you want to listen to another pile, feel free and reach out to me anytime for your own personal healing and reading. Okay. If you picked pile number three here with these charms, the rose quartz, heart healing, heart opening, unconditional love. You are, you're, you have a heart of gold. You have so much love to share. There's so much love coming into your life. Heart healing, heart opening. What does this one say? Learn from yesterday, live for today and hope for tomorrow. Live the life you love. Learn the lessons choices, decisions that you've made. It's all part of the plan. Live your life with love and live the life you love. See, with this heart energy, that's a beautiful message. Compassion coming in. You're a very compassionate person. Peace. You're brave. You're strong. You're thankful. You're free. Like there's just happy times and living in a place of appreciation and being compassionate. I feel like you're a very compassionate person. So you're attracting those types of people to you. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Feeling confident, feeling strong, dressing up, shining that light, taking charge. I feel like you're very beautiful and very desirable by others. Marilyn Monroe, I feel like she's so beautiful. Believe in love. Yeah, believe in love. Love yourself. Believe in love. There is so much love. <laughs> and love yourself. Honor yourself. Your wishes are coming true. Something you wished for is coming true with this little wish charm. And we get this butterfly. There's a rebirth happening. You're, you're birthing into a new cycle. It's time to let the old go and rebirth. There's some kind of rebirth happening in your life. It could be in the way you're thinking too. Your health is being restored with this tree of life and your finances are growing. That's what this represents for me. So there's financial growth and good health coming. Magic is in the air. The elementals, the fairies are working with you. And these are all signs and symbols to look out for. If you read about fairies, if you're connected with fairies, there's magic coming in. You're being blessed right now. The fairies also encourage you to have a little fun. If you see butterflies, if the tree of life means something to you, all these things are the ways that spirit speaks to you. There's a star that says, just for you. See, just for you, a wish a wish and dream that is just for you, not for anybody else. It might benefit other people or because you're happy it will, but this is alignment for something that you want. A dream come true. Healing. 
happiness. You're being led by spirit right now towards your destiny and it's just for you. This is luck, good fortune coming to you, serendipitous moments. Pay attention to that because you are being led to some kind of beautiful wish fulfillment, some kind of a wonderful alignment that you've really been hoping for. Oh, and I love this. Okay, this is so cute. Okay, the seahorse, love the seahorse because to me, this is the masculine rising up. This is the take charge energy, confident, proud, focused, moving forward, right? So that, and then... Here is the feminine energy, the mermaid, turning your back on anything that's not serving you, knowing, holding your vision, trusting the ship is coming in. And I feel like it's masculine energy coming forward. If you're thinking about love, this is the masculine feeling confident in coming to talk with you. If, if, if it's a, a wish fulfillment in your own balance and alignment, masculine and feminine are coming together. Your ship is coming in. Perhaps it's someone you're going to work with or move forward with, but I feel like it's love with all this love being represented. Some kind of wish and love. And with this key being a heart, yeah, you're unlocking love. Uh, unlock your heart space. High heart activation, but there's some kind of love being unlocked. And here is, I mean, it kind of looks like a lion and it kind of looks like a floppy dog, like um, Lady and the Tramp. So maybe Disney movies, Lady and the Tramp, and that's that love like coming together. But it also could be like a lion, like happy lion, like beautiful, moving forward, confident, proud, balanced. That's what I feel like. And here is another star. So there's not only a personal wish, like your own personal wish coming true, but also some other kind of alignment for destiny. And I do feel like it has something to do with love and a divine partnership. I will. You will. You will accomplish this goal. You will receive this blessing. You, you will grow. You, you will have love. You deserve love. I will. Be determined. Spirit's giving you that. You have willpower. Use it wisely. Weakness is a choice. Yeah, so not doing anything is a choice too. Not making any decisions is a choice. Living in fear is a choice. So you will overcome whatever it is that you're going through. I choose strength. Oh my God, wow. I choose strength. You're strong. You're stronger than you realize. I choose strength. I will succeed. Find joy in the journey. <laughs> yeah, Spirit just wants you to um, find joy in this journey. Learn the lessons on this journey. Uh, overcome fears by facing them and facing them with love. Shining a love and light in any situation, in any relationship that you have. And allowing yourself to transform. Allow the shadows to be transmuted into the light and focus on the love. And because you're made with love. This is who you really are. Love is your truth. Love is the answer. The gifts that are coming in, the opportunities coming in, this person coming in or a restart of something that you have is made with love. It's, it is all about the love. And, and look at this. This is a horse. This is freedom. This is dance. Like I just feel like dancing and being happy, enchanting times, happiness, joy, magic is afoot. Freedom. Moving forward. Happy. I'm going to feel with that lion dog is just like strutting your stuff, happy, living life. Live the life that you love. Explore your options. It's time to look at other possibilities. It's a good time to make changes, okay? So if you've been exploring a way to move forward, you're going to get a way to move forward. If you've been exploring options in love, it's, um, you know, looking at all the possibilities, you know what I mean? Not just someone that you've maybe always been obligated to, but opening up, making changes if there, when, when change is necessary. Um, if it's a job and you want to make a change, explore your options, see what else is out there. Okay. It's a good time to do this and make a decision. Wow. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. Yeah. It's time to, um, whatever this is for you. If this is love, if this is career, if this is family dynamics, belief systems, codependencies, addictions, whatever this is, explore your options. Make a decision to move forward. If you felt stuck in some kind of situation or mindset, make the decision to explore a way out. Focus on the love. Feel into your heart. 
Listen to your intuition. Follow your feelings. Where is your heart and soul guiding you towards? That's where you go. Follow your heart now, okay? Be logical, be discerning, but follow your heart. There's other possibilities here for you to move forward and allow yourself to open up and see them and then make a decision and move towards what makes you feel the best. And look at pig spirit. Maintain self-worth and self-esteem. Archangels Mary, Gabriel, and Uriel are with you, helping heal your heart, helping you open up to communication, open up to love, knowing you're worthy, stepping into your power, healthy self-esteem. You're, you know, this is you knowing your worth. And if you're in any kind of situation that's not serving you, any kind of relationship or work situation or family dynamic that is toxic and it makes you feel trapped and stuck, it's time to set yourself free. You are worthy of abundance. You are worthy of great love. You are strong. You will succeed. Wishes are coming true and you deserve it. So confidence being restored consciousness so there's a higher level of consciousness being unlocked you see this third eye and this is like crown chakra so really really truly go within and connect to the higher part of you your higher consciousness that's where your truth is that's where your clarity is so you're leveling up in your spiritual gifts right now too well the lovers I mean, wow, this pile is, is so interesting. The charms that came out in the cards. It's t I feel like you're making a decision in love because the lovers is a decision. If you're not in a connection, a relationship that is filled with love and it's fear and it's toxic, it's time to release that. It's time to decide to let go because you're moving towards sacred love, higher level of love. If this is a situation that you're in and you're wanting healing and wanting to explore your options on how to heal, there are options out there. This is communicating, maybe some kind of counseling, opening up and and, and, and and really speaking your truth and making a decision to heal. Whatever this is, trust your higher mind. Trust what's in your heart here when you make this decision. Kind of a head over heart decision, like feeling into your heart and then doing what you know is right what's highest and best for you and everyone else involved but this is sacred lovers coming together here see the next card yeah celebrations weddings babies parties dancing in the rain letting it all go like-minded people this is the three of cups this is this is what spirit wants you to make the decision make the decision to go towards who you love what you love this can be also to me you and your lover, your sacred lover, soulmate of some kind, coming together and starting some kind of spiritually based business. Because with this cup energy, celebrating emotions, even when it rains, you can celebrate. Even when it's storming, you find that happiness in the storm. Looking face to face, healing all this heart energy. See, so they're like kissing right here. So really coming together in, in your higher consciousness. So to me, this could be like a spiritually based practice where you help people heal healers of some kind, something like that. But celebrating this love, celebrating making the decision that's best for you. I mean, that, there's celebrations coming when you do this, when you explore your options and you finally decide. Strength, yeah. And it says, I choose strength. You already got that. I will succeed. I choose strength. I can overcome this. I can find the balance. And this is finding the balance. There's a lot of strength in this love connection, in this sacred connection. It's very strong. And the feminine energy helps balance the masculine energy. See that? Tames the beast. Helps them focus. Higher level of consciousness, right? Taming that ego. Letting go of the fear. And death. Look at that. The phoenix rising. Yeah, there's a rebirth. This is a rebirth. This is a rebirth of the sacred lovers. I mean, it is. It's a rebirth of what you know in your higher mind, this higher level love, like a twin flame feeling. Uh, whatever, you know, labels are labels. It's it's not about, but what it means is it's the like the highest level of soulmate love, the highest level commitment coming in here with this rebirth, the phoenix rising. 
oh my gosh, you cannot get any more clear about this. This, this pile, if you pick this pile, it is about love. It is about sacred union. It is about healing. It is about coming together. And what I'm getting here is first you meet in the higher minds, in the higher realms. First you're meeting in the higher realms, in your dreams, in your meditation. It is real. You are connecting with this person, okay? Focus on that. Celebrate that you have this beautiful connection because it's very strong, okay? Then you find it in the higher mind and you bring it into the physical reality. That's what I feel is happening. It's coming into the physical. There's a rebirth here. There's a coming together here. Blessings, healing, growth, connection. I mean, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. And celebrating. I mean, getting married, maybe renewing your vows. There's engagements. I mean, there's all sorts of things. And you're worthy of this grand love. Do not doubt yourself. You are meant for this. This is your destiny. This is written in the stars. You decided this long ago. And it's finally coming together here. See? Taming. Strong. Right? Letting the old go. Finding the balance. Connecting to your higher mind. Feeling into your heart. Rebirth. Here it is. Rita of Kasia, the patroness of impossible causes. I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. Yes, you are very powerful. Your love, your light, your prayers are powerful. You are manifesting this, so trust in that. What seemed impossible is always possible. Miracles are happening prayers, your manifestations, your intentions are very powerful right now. So explore the options, make a decision, open your heart to this communication and it's coming in. Wow, that's beautiful. And your final message, um, a goddess card is Serdwin, Serdwin? Potential. Yeah, there's a lot of potential here. You have a lot of potential, okay? There's a lot of growth happening with the nine, ending things that aren't serving you for this rebirth, really growing spiritually. There's a lot of potential here in this connection. I mean, so much potential. And I love all this golden energy that's coming out with the sun. And it's a golden opportunity, abundance, prosperity, a path laid out in gold. And wow, it's really beautiful. So we're going to look up this and we're going to read the alignment message as your final message. I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate you all. And reach out to me, please, anytime. When you become complacent in your comfort zone, you run the risk of never moving beyond where you are. Your true potential remains dormant and inaccessible. This may feel like a vague boredom, an envy of others, or an anxiety of accompanied by a sense of low self-worth reinforced by habit or an addiction to feeling like life will be amazing for everyone else but you or in so many cases it's just being trained been trained into you after generation upon generation of repression and conformity the goddess comes to remind you that it's time to course correct your alignment task is to turn this around by releasing all judgment towards yourself and others and reclaiming those dreams you seem to have lost. See, personal wish, dream coming true. Oh my gosh, claim it. Write down those dreams and set your intentions. Then look in a mirror, imagining that you're looking in to this, her transformational, transformative cauldron and say, them out loud as if they have already happened. Yes, live in the abundance, live in the love, live in all of it. You are so much more than you allow yourself to be. Only good will come of your growth. Your dreams and cherished desires are important to the divine. The way is simple and profound. Just say yes with gratitude in your heart. And the goddess will lead you to discover your highest good. Just say yes to this love. Just say yes and make a decision that's best for you. Just say live your life with love because there's so much potential here. You have so much potential for your life, okay? So much potential in this relationship and moving forward in this rebirth. 
You are strong, you are powerful, and you are worthy. And your truth is love. I love you all.